Hello and welcome to the channel. This is dev.log signing in. And today I would like to talk about something of which I consider to be one of the most important things to think about in terms of how you grow in your career as a software or web developer. And that is basically your tech stack. Now, I know some of you might be asking yourself, what the hell is a tech stack? Especially if you're someone that is new in the software environment or the web development environment. Those of you that have had quite a bit of experience either working in the field or that are maybe second to third year students, you already might know what it is that I'm talking about. So basically your tech stack or development stack is the set of technologies that you prefer to use over any other technologies in terms of building your web applications, desktop applications or mobile applications. And it is basically the same for any company to which you would want to find yourself being employed. They have a certain tech stack or development stack and some companies actually have more than a few so depending on which company you apply for a job you might find that there is a certain preferable tech stack or that there is more than one tech stack and that in between these companies some tech stacks might differ so maybe for some reason you might be thinking why would this be important to you or rather, let me tell you why this is important to me. And for me to do that, I have to tell you a very short story. Back when I was in varsity, programming in Java and C Sharp for me was something that I was really, really good at to some level. And at the time, I didn't truly have someone guiding or mentoring me in terms of my expectations towards a career in software or web development and never mind the lecturers and on top of that i wasn't really being smart in terms of researching all the kind of dependencies that come with being a software or web developer so even though i was lectured pretty well in terms of programming languages and the borderline idea of what has to do with software development i never really learned quite a number of things basically i never learned about frameworks i never learned about test driven development i never learned about functional or integration or unit testing i never learned about source or version control i mean maybe i did learn about these things but did I really get into knowing about how to work with these things? Nope. I mean, maybe I did learn about these in a book somewhere back in varsity, but I guess I just continued on learning programming because that's basically all that I wanted to do. But what i should have also been focused on is the kind of duties and responsibilities that would be expected from me in being employed as a software developer not just learning about what software development is or how to program all of these things play a part so because of that flaw in myself at the time my knowledge and experience working with these technologies has kind of been set back a few years because now i gained this knowledge and experience during work hours as i work with these technologies i mean don't get me wrong i'm having quite a lot of fun with it with a bit of stress and anxiety here and there Basically, what I'm trying to say to you is that if you are in a scenario where you are a college or university student and it's maybe your first year in software development, web development or anything like that, 
you must have a definite path in terms of the programming language and related technologies of that programming language that make it a lot more easier and quicker to work with when you are developing software or web applications you must research as to what your duties and responsibilities in being a programmer or developer would have to be in where you would want to apply for work you can easily search for this in websites such as indeed careers 24 pnet search for junior developer jobs maybe look into all the companies that are listed what are they expecting from someone that would be in a junior position role or someone that would be in an entry position level just do your research while you are fresh and first year start early and align your skills and knowledge in these roles make it easier for yourself to get employment and make it easier for yourself to be able to work with those technologies that you are employed to work with. If you want to one day be a Java developer, learn the differences between what is Java SE and Java EE or Jakarta EE. Know about Spring Framework, JUnit, Mokito. Learn how to work with these things. You don't necessarily need to be a master or anything like that. Just know or have an idea of what these things do and how they make your work easier. So give yourself a head start. Don't be like me back then when you found out that what you have learned is nowhere near what you should know. It will save you a lot of time and stress. So currently where I work, I am employed as an associate consultant and I primarily work at a client site in the back end with javascript uh, running on node so i'm basically a back-end developer one thing about me is that i never studied to be a web developer i studied to be a software developer and a lot of the time you'll hear these terms being used entertain interchange <laughs> a lot of the time you'll hear these terms being used interchangeably and they don't necessarily mean the same thing. So because of my newfound love for JavaScript, I've basically made it my career goal to become a full stack JavaScript developer, specifically focusing in on the Mern stack. That is MongoDB, ExpressJS, ReactJS, and Node.js. Oh my goodness, my dog is going crazy in the background. <laughs> So apart from the database, these technologies are all JavaScript based, which basically means there's a lot less for me to worry about in terms of building websites and mobile applications, because now I can also add in React Native for cross-platform mobile application development. What you should take from this is that your tech stack is important to you especially in terms of you being happy in your career as a developer and not only that it allows you to actually work with the technologies that you enjoy and it will also allow you to find employment at a company where you will most likely be a good fit based on your knowledge and experience with these technologies if you have made it this far into the video, please do like and share it. More especially if you are someone that is finding this content to be either helpful to you or in somewhat or fashion entertaining to you. Don't forget to subscribe as well, especially if you want to see more of my content. Also do hit the notification bell so that you are alerted whenever I upload a video. Until my next video, that's it from me, dev.log, signing off. Oh my goodness, my dog. Hey, it's not even my dog. I don't know why I keep saying my dog. Hey, I'm dog sitting here. My goodness.